So I've just finished uh, giving the third Love and Conflict workshop. It's a two-day process going into myself and really exploring conflict from my perspective, leading into an ability of going into the other. And the workshop itself is the journey of discovering love underneath conflict. What is the passions, what is the love that is driving inside of me? And once I'm able to have a loving and empathic communication with myself, can I create space to then see the love and passion that is experienced in another? I think the biggest takeaway for me, the biggest learning has been this notion of self-empathy and empathy for the other. And I felt like through Melissa's facilitation, I really understood the idea of empathy and really felt like I was able to embody and understand that the best way to create empathy in this world is to first and foremost have it for yourself. And I feel like I now have tools to do this. So I'm really grateful for that. I feel like uh, it's really taught me to relate better and to really listen both to myself and others in a far broader and deeper way. Do I really want to speak? Do I really need to speak? Have I checked in with what I really want to communicate and why? When someone shared about how they and the other person and their conflict had the same need, I saw that in my own conflict. Yeah, that moved me because I felt that even though there's friction between me and this person, we actually come from the same place. My main uh, focus uh, in, in life at the moment is to really, really understand what empathy means. I think it is something that is missing in uh, our uh, global network. Uh, we're learning from a very, very ra uh, early age, uh, right from wrong. Uh, we learn how to debate with each other, we learn how to argue with each other, and we learn how to compete. Um, but nobody teaches us how to relate to each other. And I think that empathy has a great factor in, in learning how to relate to each other, learning how to listen, learning how to step back. It's about relating and not debating. I have really enjoyed the kind of one-to-one -one exercises and especially the group sharing processes. Um, I usually am quite resistant or can sometimes be quite shy within group sharing and I really felt like a space of safety and support was created over this weekend for me to be able to share and every single sharing that came from every other individual within this workshop was such an amazing learning and, and actually a real healing um, process for myself and I think the collective um, so that was really really powerful yeah I feel like the process has given me uh, more clarity and ability to listen to myself uh, and my own needs uh, as well as feel into the needs of others. So I feel that starting from awareness, I'll be able to work up into communicating that and therefore be more self-expressed. I think that if we want to, and we're committed enough and willing to face the heart opening and expanding and breaking and that pain and that grief that comes with it, uh, we can really work with things that are destructive for other people or ourselves and transform it into growth uh, and into love and into flourishing. And there are tools to be learned. I'm exploring them and I want more partnership in exploring them. Uh, I want more people to walk with me to remind me that I can continuously step back into love uh, and that's why I want to do this work. Uh, I want to meet all of the people that are willing to take the step forward and help each other out, to remind each other that, uh, that we can always go back to love because what isn't transformed is transformed. So if I can transfer something, I would like it to be life enriching.